Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is for yet another year, Saskatoon residents are faced with a property tax increase. The good news, it won't put as much of a dent in their wallet as in previous years. The 2020 property tax hike is set at 3.23%. That's lower than the hike that residents are paying for this year, but still it means the average homeowner will fork over an extra $61 in taxes next year. That's not the only increase people will see. At the Saskatoon Zoo, the cost of a family season pass will go up by $5. And here, at the other end of town, at Nutrium Playland, admission will also go up by $2.50. Of course, a big part of any budget is jobs. Overall, the city wants to add 50 new full-time jobs. Here at the Saskatoon Police Service, three new street cops are planned for 2020. And because this is the first Saskatoon budget to plan two years ahead, another four street cops are planned for the year 2021. For all the fanfare on budget day, this is hardly a done deal. That's because city councillors starting next month will hack through the budget like jungle explorers, trying to eke out whatever savings they can. Their mission? To try to bring down the property tax hike to something lower than 3%. The fun begins here at City Hall on November 25th. Geek Kemble, CBC News, downtown Saskatoon.